Hey guys. So fun fact, I didn't, okay, I didn't go to USC, but when I was in, yeah, that's the fun fact, the most fun fact about me. Uh, I went to college for music when I was 18, fun, silly, and hated performing so much that I decided to stop doing that and become a worship leader. That's so different. Uh, but really, this class over the past, I don't know, like 10 weeks, something like that, um, the tagline for it was really, uh, it was written for me. And it was just to get things finished, to get things off of our voice memos and have some completed songs. Um, my uh, typical process was to come up with something really catchy in the shower, sing it for three hours, and then totally forget it existed ever again. Uh, so this class is really good for me just to kind of get some stuff on paper and to actually finish some things that I started a long time ago. Um, I also have been learning to play guitar for the first time this semester, but Andrew is much better than me, so he's going to carry us through tonight. Um, I write worship tunes, write worship tunes like A-Flow. Uh, for me, songwriting is just a, it's a helpful process to get to um, have some keystone moments in my life, some stories to tell about Jesus and, and the church that are hopefully helpful for more than just me. Um, unintentionally, everything I wrote tonight, I'm doing too, is from Isaiah. I've been reading Isaiah through most of the year. Um, so a lot of, both of them are from Isaiah. Fun fact also, the Bible is free material for you to use. So if you're looking to songwrite, uh, you can use as much of the Bible as you want because nobody's going to call you out for it. Uh, the first song tonight is called um, Come to the Water, and really for me it was just an invitation. Water is like a Christian worship theme. I'm so sorry I bought into it, um, but it's just an invitation for us to, yeah, to come to the table. It comes from Isaiah 55, and it says, Come all who are thirsty, come to the waters. You who have no money, come buy and eat. Come and buy wine and milk without money and without cost. So here it is. Come to the water, come draw a drink, you lost and you weary, come find what they seek, and if you've no money, oh come join the Have bread, milk, and good wine. The table is free.
song also from Isaiah. It's Isaiah 40, verses 3 through 5. Uh, and for me, uh, the song kind of just came out of, um, I was really intrigued by a couple of things in the New Testament. Of, I guess what? They're from the Old Testament. But this idea of preparing the way of the Lord, what it looks like for us to prepare the way that the Lord is going to um, engage with us in worship, engage with us in gatherings. But it says this in Isaiah 40, starting at verse 3. And you'll recognize it from John the Baptist too. It says, A voice cries out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain hill shall be made low. All things uneven shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed there, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. So uh, this is Prepare the Way. I'm sorry. I totally entered the wrong song in everything. We practiced a whole different one. It's a, I was really nervous. I know, right? I don't know this one. He doesn't know that one. I was ready, though. I was really ready. Uh, this is called Christ Be Exalted. It's Jesus. <laughs> I'm Zachary Kirby, not Jacob. No sun or star can pass you in splendor. No crafted thing can be what you are. Even to me, come be the center of all our days. No can stop what you started my darkest parts won't change what you've done even to me come be the center of all my praise Christ be exalted Christ be exalted in all your ways Power. 